anyways, that was all missed. Hey, so, anywho, I can take no credit for this. Or along my walkway. I can take credit for this short part right up here. But not the heavy stuff. And right now this snow is real thick, real wet, real heavy. And my neighbor, Jim, who I just met for the second time, he's in his 70s, he came over with his snowblower and without any hullabaloo or fanfare or asking, you know, asking for compensation, I offered it, but he rejected it. By the time I finished my walkway to my front door, he had blown all this out for me. That was seven inches deep. And it's that thick, heavy, wet stuff. So I would have really been taxed to do it on my own. I mean, I was willing to, but the moral of the story is this. I've lived two years or more consecutively in eight different states, and I've yet to have my 50th birthday. I left home at 17. I had found time to be married for 28 years and raise a kid who's now 29. I've done a lot in my life. Like I said, I've lived multiple lifetimes. But folks, I gotta tell you, I've never met any people, a level of consistency in neighbors that are so caring, so philanthropically based mentality, philanthropy, the art of giving without receiving, just doing it because you want to do it. It seems all my neighbors subscribe to that. And I do as well. And it just makes you feel so good inside that you're meeting like-minded individuals that feel the same way. They just want to help out, you know? They want to be assets. I just figure that's the prudent thing to do. Whether it's, you know, their ethics or their God or whatever, people just love to help each other out around here. And, you know, for any other of the shortcomings of Utah, that makes up for a lot of it. Okay, maybe I don't have someone in my life. But I have plenty of people in my life. If I really want to look at the big picture, I guarantee you, if I, if I went down, you know, I broke my leg or I got sick and any of the neighbors got word about it. I tell you what, people would be coming over and helping me, whether I wanted it or not. And I'd do the same for them. No, I'm not just aimlessly wandering. I'm finishing up my smoke break in the garage because I do not believe in smoking in my house or my car, but I will smoke in my truck. But uh, just wanted to make a short video. And this really is, you know, Thanksgiving weekend, and I hope everybody had a wonderful turkey day yesterday. And I did something unusual. I didn't watch any football for more than about 10 minutes at my brother's. But uh, tis the season, people, and be thankful for what you have. So for all you people out there on Black Friday, looking for the best deals, okay, to each his own. But just remember to be a good deal to other people and to yourself. Love one another. Remember the season and be grateful. And now I am gratefully going to have uh, a cup of coffee and reflect and know that my back is not going to be extra sore because of this, because of my wonderful neighbors who just decided, hey, I want to help out. No charge. You know, you can't overlook beauty like that. Have a great weekend.